all right guys so i'm still reporting to you on what is happening at the tribunal now it is away from the presidential election tribunal we are now focusing attention on what is going on at the governorship tribunal all right yesterday i brought to you what is happening in lagos election petition tribunal where um badebo rodevivo has come out to say with use of um with him his witness witness testified that um the governor of lagos i'm talking about sam wolu did not have a permanent voter's card yet he voted and what does that mean that vote is going to be nullified and is going to be disqualified by the court because you as a candidate in an election it is a must that you vote for yourself now he went out to vote for himself and his vote did not count because he did not have a permanent voter's card the fact is that the machine showed that his permanent voter's card um voting identity number like vin is what well, uh, i mean was invalid all right so being an invalid vote you as a candidate need to vote in your election and so as far as that vote is disqualified he also stands a chance of being disqualified that is one now the governorship election petition tribunal sitting in lagos yesterday also granted an expert motion brought before it by labor party gubernatorial candidate badebo rode vivo for a substituted service in on um, Governor Babaji de Sanwolu. Rode Vivo and the Labour Party, through their counsel, Olagbade Benson, had informed the tribunal that Sanwolu evaded service of the petition on him by the court's bailiff. They alleged that Sanwolu refused to collect the documents from the bailiff when the court officially got to his office to save him. In the petition, they are praying the court to grant them leave to save the petition and other processes on the governor and his deputy through substitute substituted means by posting same via dhl courier services or any other recognized courier service company um, to the respondent uh, or official residence at lagos marina all right so uh, the the governor is evading service of the petition all right just is exactly i mean this the whole country is um, lawless all right so because before now when a court says you a petition you are supposed to collect that petition you have you are supposed to respect that arm of government the judiciary but here there's no respect and the judiciary are swallowing it they are taking it they accept the the insult and the um, shame that is being brought upon them because they don't understand how you will give someone a petition and the person rejects that petition. You save someone a subpoena, and he evades the subpoena. I mean, the court should um should look into this matter. In fact, this is one of the reasons why the court should be able to exonerate themselves, clear themselves of the blame and the allegations, and then do the right thing. Because if they do not do the right thing, then that means they are an accomplice. Right now, it seems like APC and INEC are. are uh, INEC is an is an APC accomplice. That is what we are seeing to throughout the whole court, the presidential election and other governorship elections. That is what I'm seeing. All right, so guys, I am still reporting you. I want to know your own opinion. What do you think? Do you think that INEC is doing well, or do you think that the court will have any option to um enforce this? Is there any law that can be used against someone who is um? Uh, evading petition remember this is not a, a court someone it is a subpoena it is um a belief right to save a petition on the governor or on someone so it is not a court someone do you think that the the, the constitution can be interpreted so that this nonsense of um evading uh, court invitation can stop because the same thing is what the the um president of the country tinobu did when the Labour Party and presidential candidate of um, PDP, Tukobaka, took the leave of the court to him. He travelled and they used heavy security to block their access until the court gave them another option to go and pest it in their secretariat, the APC secretariat. So I'm sure that is what um, uh, Badebo Rode Vivo is looking for. The court to, okay, yesterday the court accepted and gave them that um, uh, uh, ruled in favor of that uh, appeal to use a, a, a courier service to pest the petition in uh, on, on, on his residence so let's see what happens i'll keep updating you every step of the way if you want to stay updated 
make sure to hit the red subscribe button don't leave our channel leave a like for this video if you love what we're doing to you and we'll keep sharing more updates for you thanks for watching